Hey everyone, Mitch coming in for the Compare Score Studio with Eric. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say Budger Rick Moranis. <laughs> oh, right, Budger Rick Moranis. <laughs> sure. No, you're right. You got it right. You got it right. <laughs> well, so last time I, we did this. If you haven't seen the other episode, it, it depends on the order we do these. Yeah. I, I guess I probably should do it in the correct order because we're referencing at this point. Yep. But uh, but yeah, I pointed, and then Eric was supposed to say Eric, and then Eric said Budget Rick Moranis. So then I was trying to reverse it this time, <laughs> but then you got ahead of me on it to say yep. Eric. So let's try it again. Okay. Welcome to the episode with. Budget Rick Moranis. Slash Eric. Slash so, Eric. Oh, was I supposed to say, say <laughs> Eric? No, I don't do We're it. We're so bad at this. <laughs> Great intro. Anyways. Who am I? I'm having an identity crisis over here. What are we talking about, Budget We're going to talk Moranis? about budget tribes. There we go. So, like, Budget Rick Moranis tribal. Sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to build that deck. <laughs> I don't know how. But it's going to be great. A lot of alternative it. art versions of Rick Moranis. <laughs> We're going to figure it out. It's I don't know. just how all we, Rick Moranis. It's like, yeah, like Little, so it's like little Shop of Horrors. There's uh, Ghostbusters. There's Space Honey, Balls. Kids, Space Balls. Like, and I I'm mean, running out of Rick he's Moranis. He's in like a bunch of like dramas as well. well yeah, like but like Parenthood you're going to have to go pretty deep, I think, on the resume sure. like for like so things that many people haven't seen. Have I, pull up IMDb. And yeah, let's, yeah. Let's it's like this is Rick Moranis from like – a walk on Tuesday. Or like, but like, but oh, if, okay, that's that's a movie it, I've seen. Yeah. If you play on a table where there's like a hardcore Rick Moranis, oh my fan, gosh, it'd be amazing. <laughs> they'd be like, oh my god, especially I met my person. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you speak to me. <laughs> I would absolutely love that if I played against Rick. That's Moranis a one of one person that somewhere in the world. I mean, unless that plays the, Commander uh-huh. casually. Yep, is likely to sit down at a table with us. Yep. And is that big of a Rick Moranis fan that they would get every possible reference? They would be stoked to play against you. They'd be like, oh, my gosh. That's the unicorn. we got to go find him. It's Rick Moranis. <laughs> Let's go find him. And then you'd be like, yes, I am. If you're out there in the comments, <laughs> raise your hand. Send us a picture of raise your, your Rick Moranis deck. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so regardless, we're talking about budget <laughs> tribes, though. Some tribes that can do really well on a budget and some ones that... Well, are, are pretty exciting to build around, and maybe we'll talk about some ones that maybe are. I think that maybe put, I can overrated or just overdone, essentially at a certain yeah. point too. We'll talk about played out. So yeah, 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 yeah. played out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So we did like a little bit of a research sur- a survey of on using Scryfall, just mm-hmm. kind of going less than a dollar. Sure. Looking at creature types, yeah. there's a lot of creature types, so like mm-hmm. this isn't comprehensive. There we might miss something off this but this is just kind of the the ones that stood yes, out and it doesn't include changelings i think you said. changelings don't count because right. every single time it's like it's like oh yeah best true of human Hold them on yeah. add, add them to any tribe and now you've got you know that many yeah. more creatures there's only two starfish in the history of magic oh, excuse me yeah. there's 45 changelings yes. so it's 47 <laughs> right. and not all changelings have shapeshifters so technically not all changelings are even i mean shapeshifter have changeling or shapeshifter changeling yes yeah. thank you thank yeah. you yeah very true. Very true. Reversed around there. Anyway. Um, anyways, so uh, the number one, unsurprisingly, was human. Yep. By like a vast majority. Uh-huh. So like over almost 3,000 under a dollar yep. humans. Well, and exist. like, and also too, like we maybe had more and more humans became like a thing, the like tribal lately, essentially. Yeah. And they kind of like went back a while ago and like errated a lot of old cards yeah. that were just like, Hey, it's a warrior, but it's like also a human. So yeah. like human Summon warrior. Dale or whatever, <laughs> you know, like from or Joven. What's yeah, jo- Joven. Um, <laughs> they just Ch- had weird names. Chandler? Yeah. Joven Chandler. And then there's yeah. one, uh, a Stark. Is it st- no something of Stark? What's the name? Yeah. Ah, someone uh, let me know the console, which I'm missing. It's not a yeah. red commander. But they're like early days of magic. Yeah. They're just like, yeah. Dale. And then they would even like put like, like weird text in there like this is a summon spell or treat this yeah. as a summoning spell summon so, dale <laughs> summon your creatures <laughs> anyways so lots of humans yep and and i, I think even more so the, the on that topic of of, of creature types mm-hmm. with, with humans just kind of getting bolted onto things is they didn't always have multiple creature yep. types it was typically one actually I yeah think. it was usually like you were a goblin you were a zombie. there was like the mm. core yeah. you know handful and mm-hmm. then like it expanded out and then when you would go to a certain block mm-hmm. where like moon folk or whatever they were yep. like they were their own thing and yep. stuff like that so then these days we've got so many types that it's like oh you ran out of space you have to like shrink salamander lizard person yeah you know exactly, like, yeah. <laughs> eagle eagle <laughs> the head of an egret with the talons of a mm-hmm. lizard just very specific <laughs> yeah. yeah very very specific <laughs> and the body of a porcupine exactly um so uh humans are a lot uh abundant uh wizards was another one that, yep. that's really high up there 
um, soldier. You can kind of see a theme like these kind of like evergreen bolt on sort of uh, creature types are very yep. abundant. Um, spirits. Yeah. Warriors. You're going really fast. I'm Sorry. trying to go through. Oh, you're fine. No, keep talking. Just and, I put these in the wrong order. So. <laughs> and, and clerics. Yep. Um, these were like just based on creature count under a dollar. They were all worthy of being mentioned. I yeah. think clerics are a little bit farther down. You know, ones that I didn't have on here, but are right there within like a couple of numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, like elves. Yeah. Um, zombies. Oh man, you are just were, you are just killing me right those now. Were, those were those were. Close, I'm going but... really far down. Elves, <laughs> zombies. Look at this. Oh goodness. Yeah, this editing is gonna go. Great. I'll let you just catch up. No, we're good. we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> but. So just outlining, like, those are kind of the, when you're thinking about if you want to build a tribal deck, mm -hmm. um, where to start, yeah. right? Um, pick, pick a tribe. That's pick usually a tribe, where you start, right? Yeah. That speaks to you. Are there I any think, commanders that speak to you that yeah. are tribal commanders? Yeah. Right, exactly. So either you choose a tribe and find the commander that fits the mm -hmm. tribe or vice versa. you got a commander that's like, oh, they want to be this tribe. Yep. I'm going to make a tribal deck based on them. Yeah. Um, and I think every player kind of has that creature type that they align with. And it's usually the core creature types, you mm -hmm. know, like... Eddie loves elves, right? He's yep. got he, like to me like his tribe is elves. Mm -hmm. He's got an elf deck, mm -hmm. you know. I'm I'm the goblin guy. Like, you, I, oh, yeah, I, was gonna I say. have tribal decks of all types, uh -huh. but like goblins are my thing. See, I always think when I think of crank or you I think of cranko. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I have multiple gob goblin decks. Yes. Not all of them are tribal goblins, but mm -hmm. they're I I like goblins as a tribe. Goblin's I always great. have since I was a kid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what's your tribe? Oh, I, I um five color good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly five color. I would say that like I, fun. <laughs> I don't think I've actually ever really and correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong on this, but I don't think I've ever actually had a tribal specific deck in my collection. I don't I can't I think, think of you in a yeah, I think I've one. only ever really had like I mean I've got my Lord's deck essentially, which is like again like changeling kind of but with also like other lord effects everything becomes like the same tribe essentially yep. i don't think i've had a specific tribal deck like right. i have like some tribes that i absolutely love and i would love like wizards to bring back like you know night stalkers like something weird like that because yeah, right. it's just like out there but like i can't tell you like what tribe i actually would really build around because i guess when i was a kid like i like elves i guess yeah so like i i guess that'd be it but like i don't think i really have a specific tribe i think your closest thing that i've ever seen that you've played that has like any level of tribalism mm -hmm. would be um your hippos yep there you go hippos a lot of hippos yeah it's a, and it's only one hippo in i mean it, it felt a rip. Yeah. there's only one hippo in the deck yeah. i mean just makes other hippos yeah right. that's true <laughs> that is true it's so it's I, the go wide hippo deck. go wide hippos yeah but not go wide for yourself you're giving them other right. people you're that you're never away. gonna steal Which them from seems, those other players that seems like you though like you're like i want to give everybody else a try everyone you take i'm gonna hippos. tell you what tribe is gonna be it's gonna be hippos you're for gonna be some hippo. reason you're gonna be the biggest fan of hippos <laughs> yes. whether you wanted to be in the hippo tribe or not you are now exactly. a member exactly all hippos all, all the hippos. time so yeah that, that that probably is the closest i've ever gotten i guess yeah and i could be wrong maybe maybe i have it's been years and years and years and years and years i've had a lot of decks over the years but like yeah I, I can't remember a specific tribe tribal doesn't really uh i feel like the way you build decks i like to do tribals like really like i like to build decks that are very and, unexpected if i yeah. can and tribal not that they're not unexpected but like they're just certain cards that like in a goblin deck are good in a goblin yeah, deck right. because like hey like you don't have cranko in your goblin deck why right like, yeah Exactly. Yeah. You don't have all Krenkos in your yeah, goblin just deck. All the Krenkos? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're getting another one too in Karlov Manor or whatever. Is there gonna be another Krenko? Is they, it like they, confirmed or Well yeah, they, I watched the like teaser video or the what where they like presented what this thing was all about. And they're like, Kranko is one of the characters that, that you got to go and like talk to or whatever. And because it's all like investigation. And Crazy. Whatever. So I was and like, was like right. blah, 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 blah. he's got a beard now. What? Yeah. But his his outfit looks really sweet. Like it's like he, he like put like a regular shirt on, uh -huh. but he has like spikes on his shoulders. So okay. they tore through the regular okay. shirt. I don't know. It looks it's cool art. So Kranko, I, I mean, I, I guess did, but... Kranko has like a shirt on before. I couldn't yeah. remember if Kranko was. I thought it was a cape, I guess. But looking more at it, it's a he's shirt. He's got a crown. Yeah. Yeah. Looks, like a, like a, like a cool. steel crown that just like looks like he made it it's on like tin. his own well he's uh, he's the, the tin street boss there the you go right tin street dude yeah yeah so. tin street dude that's the new card <laughs> Cranko, tin, tin street, street dude, dude. <laughs> he's just throwing like a shaka like yeah! what's up man? <laughs> let's go let's go solve some murders at Karlov manor <laughs> oh no like someone got stabbed <laughs> He just drives like a hippie van. <laughs> it's a very specific Cranko. We've, we've really gone sideways with Cranko yeah. these days. <laughs> anyway, um, so 
those are like kind of a good baseline for if you're thinking about tribal, um, yep. you haven't built a tribal deck um, and you want to do it on a budget. Those are some really, they got, uh, you, remember you only need like, 30 ish creatures in your deck typically sure. like yeah and it's kind of like depends but yeah subjective but like yeah. you know so when you have 900 warriors to choose from you've got a wide pool you do have quite you a know? few to pick from so yeah so like you can even go and find some more obscure tribes that you know don't have 500 plus yeah. cards to them that are under a dollar and you can probably build a pretty sweet tribal deck absolutely yeah tribal's getting a lot more support i mean ever since i think commander really kind of became a thing like tribal's been getting more and more support over yeah. the years so and there's a lot of like evergreen tribal now yeah you know like I, like morophon comes to mind because it's mm -hmm. five color you can be any tribe that you mm -hmm. want to do and, and and stuff like that but there's even more than than just that nowadays mm -hmm. it's like you, there's a lot of different uh cards that are coming or in. you can do a morophon monuments deck which is not tribal at all and every single time it comes into play you pick like drake or something random and yep. then you play a creature infinitely for fun yeah yeah there's that too. that's how morophon was See, that's how played. that's that's mitch tribal right there. <laughs> yes it is all tribes <laughs> it's all tribes but not all tribes <laughs> right yeah so to that end uh some underrated uh like fun tribes that yeah. I, I think that you know if you're if you're thinking about doing this and you want to do something that you know is a little bit different a little un mm -hmm. unexpected or whatever um wizards and humans y while there is a lot of them out on the on the game yeah. um not very many people are running wizard tribal decks compared to some other tribes yeah right you know I like you'll see more zombie decks mm -hmm. or rogues yep than you will wizard tribal because right? there's a lot of strong wizards but they usually play to a different type of game style sure so that's a, a to me that's a game space that is would be fun to explore because you get the benefits of being in that creature type mm -hmm. and those colors. You can use Vidalcan Aether Mage. Exactly. Which Vidalcan has wizard Aether cycling, Mage. which is a thing for some reason. Yeah. It's just so funny. Yeah, discard it away and go get any wizard out of your deck. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's like, I mean, there's definitely um, some cool commanders out there, like Azami Lady of Scrolls. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, tap and untap wizard, you control, draw a card. So pretty powerful, pretty fun. Yeah. I mean, she's mono blue, so you kind of, yeah. you don't get all of the wizards, mm -hmm. but a, a lot of them are blue. Yeah. And, you know, so um, definitely some fun, fun, uh, fun spaces to play there. I think humans is another one. Azami Lady of Scrolls is. <laughs> also, <laughs> though she a human. goes yeah, after that's true. wizards, though. You <laughs> probably would want to run her in the wizards deck. Yep. Yeah, with these cards I'm trying to uh, I include on the screen, I try to include just commanders that are under a dollar and then also cards under a dollar, too. Yeah. So, humans, there's a, a vast abundance. Uh, oh, yeah. I think you grabbed... Uh, uh, Kyler, Kyler, the Guardian Emissary, yeah. a very powerful one. Yeah. I mean, Kyler, other humans you control get plus one, plus one for each counter on Kyler. So, you go, mm -hmm. go tall, but you also go wide, or, yep. or, or kind of go wide. Pump, you would want to do a go wide strategy with yep. humans. Or not. You know, you could just yeah. have buffed up really, you know, a handful of solid humans there's a lot of really good humans there's a, a lot ton. of good stuff so you could probably if you really want to do like human legendary tribal Kyler, oh, yeah. you could because yeah. there's enough legendary humans especially because all the old school legends are all human for yeah. the most part basically um basically They're like what are other creature types <laughs> yeah zombie which is also kind of a human ish like a dead human yeah. uh goblin uh and then uh angel angel that's like a demon there that was like and demon that's kind of like all they had oh dragons 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 worms Worms, that's right. There, there you go. Worms. Okay, that was like all they had. And uh, cephalids. <laughs> no, not cephalids. It's, there was, was like, yeah, there was like. No, what was the, oh, was it cephalid? No, I can't remember. What was like the crab people ones? Oh, Homerid. Homerid! <laughs> Bring back Homerids! <laughs> yeah. Homerid tribal. We want a legendary. I'm adding that to the underrated really fun tribes. Yeah. I have no idea how many Homerids there yeah, are, but there that's an underrated Homerid? tribe. I don't think there is. I don't know. It's like legendary cephalids now, I think. What, was the, what was the really bad mono blue crab? that oh the charx charx the isle yeah the, uh, whatever something isle yeah i wouldn't call it bad. i mean it wasn't good but yeah i put him in my walls deck did you well yeah zero seventeen or whatever it is he's, yeah he's super good in a wall yeah deck. very good in a walls deck <laughs> which is like oh okay because you don't even need to use his ability and now yeah. suddenly he's a seventeen seventeen. <laughs> yeah i just think like like with with that like with like an underrepresented tribe like i think like you should have like again like if a commander like that comes out it's like the very first legendary crab commander it's like cool but could you like make one that maybe like works with crabs? Like maybe right. you can make a bunch of crabs so that you yeah. can actually use it as a crab tribal commander instead of being like, okay, I guess I have a Voltron crab, crab thing guy that could also just be a wall and some decks. And there's a bunch of homerids in there, but they don't really mean anything yeah. to the crab Woo! guy because yeah. they're technically different. Yeah, exactly. Te technically different somehow. Yeah. yeah. That's like a, I think homerids are more like a lobster. Kind of. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm, De definitely got a do C we, in biology. Do we not have any lobsters? We have crabs in that. Do we have any lobsters? I don't think we have lobsters. 
No lobsters. No lobsters. I don't think so. I don't I, think so. I can't say that definitively. I don't know for sure. We have starfish. We do have starfish. We also have sharks, right? Uh, yeah, there which is. are also fish. Though. There is because like, the... we have fish, but now we also have sharks, which is a part of like. But also like birds are more general. Like we don't have like eagles. Like, <laughs> yeah, we no. have like just, just birds. Birds get a bad rap, dude. But I'm not trying to give a bad rap. I'm just trying to say like. It's, I'm just saying they only get one. It's kind of weird where birds. they like where they delineate like w like what needs to be more specific right. and what can just be more broad. Like birds are just birds. Right, like I don't think we have any specific. All right, I guess we know. Um, what is that one? There's like the the Falconeer Commander, or whatever. Is there? No, wait. What is that one? There's there's like a mono white, not like a Falcon Commander, but like it's some kind of a different bird. It's a specific bird. I think oh, I don't really? know. I could be wrong. We're going down a tangent. We get owls, right? There's owls. You're right. We do have owls. owls. So there are certain specific birds, but it's like we don't have like an eagle, <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't man. think so. There's correct a lot the, of creatures. Correct types. me in the comments. We so might I have an eagle. I yeah, I mean, like, and also things have been ratted <laughs> over the years. Like Frexian wasn't a creature type before, now it is. Like, but like, yeah, yeah I mean, like, it's kind of weird where they decide to like get specific on certain things and where they don't. Like, uh, also like, uh, there's man, like the manta race, essentially, or whatever. Like, um, what's that one janky manta that like takes away an extra turn and then gives an extra turn? Regardless, we have manta rays in Magic, but they're also just called fish. Even though, yes, they are t they are kind of fish, yeah. but so are sharks essentially. And so, like, let's get back to the topic <laughs> at hand. <laughs> we're we're splitting hairs. Taking but... a slight break, <laughs> taking some water in, and that's great. Let's go back to, to just back. yeah the actual topic at hand. So, um, another underrated tribe I think is elementals. Okay. I like um, elementals a there's, lot. There's good elemental tribal commanders out there, um, mm -hmm. but or a you, lot of people you build go with them. something more general too. If you want to just like Omnath is an elemental, like any of the Omnaths. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, like like he's not necessarily like like um. Oh man, I can't think of the name of the Horde element. of Notions. Horde of Notions. Yeah. Yes, that that one was over a dollar. I would have included. Okay, I was gonna say <laughs> it's a dollar. That 15. one is an elemental commander. Yep. For for an elemental tribe. Yep. But Omnath could be you know elemental yep. tribal like. Uh, Omnath is just general good stuff for the most part. Like whether you want to be landfall or like, cause there's however many versions, five, it's five, five there's, versions. Of oh, it? there's going to be, you know, there's going to be a six colorless Omnath though. At some point. We, yeah. We might as well gotta have be, one. Right. Or it's gotta be one Omnath where, becomes an Eldrazi. <laughs> or, or Omnath needs the, needs like the Tazri treatment where it's five color in the, in the activated ability mm -hmm. and it's mono white. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it already has the five color though with Locus of all. That's what I mean though. But it needs like, now he needs like an even easier way. An even easier way. Easy. Yep. To easy Omnath. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we I need like an it. easy on that. I like it. I like it. Uh, but yeah, elementals. There's the, the elemental creature type, like wizards, mm -hmm. really spans. I mean, they care about certain things. A lot of landfall, yep. a lot of things like that. But yep. there's a lot of different stuff going there, on with elementals. There is, and also like a lot of like the um, the creature lands. Essentially, many of them are elementals. Like when they turn into a creature, so you can also take yeah. advantage of things like that, like weird synergies like that. So yeah, there's a lot of different avenues that you can use elementals. And Risen Reef is just a crazy cool card. Dude, so. I loved Risen Reef um, in draft. Mm -hmm. I, I remember getting that. I think it was actually at pre-release when I first saw that card, and I was like, this card's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I always wanted to build an elemental tribal just because of that card. But then you're like, ah, oh, but goblins. But I, goblins. I, want, I want my fifth goblin it's deck. It's like, do I do I need uh do I need to get a, a new deck based around a new creature type that, uh, that has a new creative space mm -hmm. that I've never explored before, or should I make another crank deck? Yeah, goblins. I should probably make another crank deck. There you go. <laughs> um yeah, so elementals are cool. Yep. Um Pirates. I yeah. actually just picked up that precon that just came oh, yeah. out, the pirate precon. Yeah, the new admiral back at Brad. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna keep it just as a precon. Yeah. Like usually I I get them and I kind of like play them and I, I want to change against them. But... Someone that had that essential it was a pretty cool. It's deck. a really like the I really like that one. It was well made. Whoever like came up with the story of it mm -hmm. and everything like that, like it was built really cool, mm -hmm. um, very fun. So, but I always wanted a pirate commander like ever since first Ixalan. I yep. thought that was like a creature type that just seemed really cool. Yeah, oh, absolutely. There wasn't just a, there wasn't a ton of support for it. Like we had at the pirate time. ship. Excuse yeah. you. Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, so I think like now that we've gotten more pirates over time, mm -hmm. treasures is <laughs> whatever your opinion on treasures may be. They're a thing more so now. It is a thing. And Lotus uh, petals for everyone. Right. So I think that there's there's some fun creative space that you can play, mm. especially like when you wanna if you wanna bring in like some themes and you can also dress up like a pirate when you're playing get, it too. Yeah, and you can talk like a pirate. Oh there that won't get annoying and at annoy all. Annoy everybody. Yar. Yar. <laughs> Which reminds me of uh, what is it, Dodgeball, Steve the Pirate. There <laughs> oh, yeah. you go. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yarp. Yeah, that is good. That is good. Uh, good stuff. <laughs> Um, and then the last underrated tribe, and again, there's so many underrated yeah, tribes. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Night Stalkers. I thought Artificer was one that you yeah. don't see anybody run an Artificer tribal, but Artificer's mm -hmm. on a lot of cards. Yep. 
They did. And a lot of cool cards. And, and again, like, it's kind of like a human thing. It's like, yeah, you didn't realize that this was also an yeah. artificer kind of thing. I guess Archimandrite is the one I, I picked out. Technically a human advisor, but it is one that can go artificer tribal. Right. Because it says whenever you gain life, each advisor, artificer, and monk you control, it gains vigilance, gets plus X, plus zero, and time amount of life you gain. Also tap three of either of those tribe you know, creatures, essentially draw a card. So you can go yeah. a mix of all those. You can go one specifically. And yeah, if you go artificer tribal, you can do some pretty crazy things. There's a lot of cool ones. I mean, just like some that you might not realize artificer, like Padim, Council yeah. of Innovation. Padim. Another but, one. And like a lot of people like will build an artifact deck and, and, it, and it doesn't matter what the tribe mm. is. They're just about the artifacts, yeah. right? Um, but I think that you could do an artifact deck that's artificer tribal, uh -huh. and then it's got this like cool like extra yeah. little like synergy to they it. They built these. Look yeah, what I right. built. I love I love flavor. Yeah, you are you are the flavor king of our group, I'd say. Or as I'm the non flavor king, I'm the unexpected miscellaneous. All right, I just built played that deck once. Now let's just toss it away forever because it was annoying. <laughs> Give me one second. <coughs> Sorry, let me just let me stop making it easier. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Right, um, okay. Yeah. So I think those are like some fun uh, underrated tribes. Yeah. Um, I, I a long time ago I tried to make uh, a tog uh, tribal. Yeah. With but the tog like, yeah, yeah, with the tog tog. But there's only like so many tog. Ten. Ten. Well, and like the synergies are kind of weird because like yeah. some are like yeah, sacrifice creatures. It's not like okay. slivers. Like yeah, but like some are like okay, like discard a land or something it's like yeah. okay, what they're kind of <laughs> negative yeah. yeah some of them are like have like lands in your graveyard exile those i mean like psychotalk is a crazy good card back yeah. in the day but like yeah there's only so many that actually like, kind of synergize even with themselves yeah much less synergize with the other ones right so yeah so um underrated fun tribes to mm -hmm. build um i think that there's plenty of overrated tribes and the reason why sure i, I you know we wanted to talk about budget tribes and how to build budget mm -hmm. tribal and just highlight some of these underrated tribes mm -hmm. um, to explore different creative spaces. Yeah. The overrated tribes, and I'm going to be a hypocrite here because I have many of these <laughs> decks. Um, I think first and foremost, Slivers. Yeah. It's just, it does that thing, right? Yeah. Every, it does what it does. Every single it. card is a lord, essentially. Yep. Yep. I built, I built the first Sliver and then I took it apart mm -hmm. after playing it like twice. Got you. Because it was just like, it does the thing. Yeah. Cool. But thing. it's like, I don't know. To me, it's like really boring. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I agree with you that it's kind of overdone. I do think it's a cool, like, it always just reminds me of, um, gosh, what's the game? I can't think of the game. What is the game? Starcraft? Whichever one, like the, the Zerg, essentially, kind of like oh, that yeah. kind of essentially, yep. like hive mindy type thing. I like the like the creature I type like the itself. I like the creature type. Yes. But yeah, what it does is like, okay, like, yeah, you need to take out the sliver player because if they get like five slivers in play, like, you get targeted. You're in trouble. But I also think like, so I guess I should say, when I say boring, I don't because if you like playing, I I, I like playing my goblin deck. Oh yeah, right? yeah, and I've got that on here too. That's an overrated. You just tribe. spoiled this. It's gonna come up soon. All right. <laughs> but so like with slivers, um, and really all of these ones is mm. like, I'm I'm highlighting tribes that do, like that you really can only build them one way. Like sure. they're not like wizards where you can go so many directions. Sure. Right. Like there's. You know, instants and sorceries, wizards, you know, that's kind of the obvious direction, mm -hmm. but there's wizards that do other things as well. Sure. And can, you know, like you could go, go wide with wizards if you really want. Like it's mm. unexpected. Yeah. Whereas like slivers, they're lords. Yeah. They do what they do. You get the best it's lords powerful. in the deck. You throw all the sliver lords in there and you're doing sliver you, lord things. You don't really need to do a whole lot of research or get too creative because it's just like, this is what the deck's going to do. Yeah. If you just took like a handful of slivers and just chucked them in there, you'd probably do pretty good. I will say I tried to build budget slivers that did not go well it can be tough it's the the some of them are are budget friendly but mm -hmm. even with the first sliver as the exception in the command yeah, zone yeah, yeah. the deck still kind of is not very good a long time ago i think <laughs> i built first or no sliver hive mind whichever the one is that like is or hive mind or overlord one of the whichever one's the indestructible one i built that one because that one for some reason was like five bucks at the time i built that one pretty cheap long long time ago uh and that was i get sliver reprints that happened back then but yeah but yeah since then slivers prices are up and down and whatnot and actually i did build a sliver overlord whichever ones like pay three go search for a sliver yeah i built a yeah again like a mitch deck versus an actual tribal deck where i was like okay i'm tutoring for a tribal changeling spell right, yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is technically a sliver right. which then changes your creatures into slivers and then i gain control of your slivers yep which again changings don't count in this episode because no, they do not they, they can turn any of the any of these overrated tribes into something different yeah that's so true. there is ways to, to build these tribes but then you're not really building them as as, as their tribe yeah you're building them as changeling that's true different stuff which i applaud that's yeah. cool yeah 
Um, but right. if we're talking about building tribal. So outside of slivers, next up you have? Zombies. Zombies. And I right. have a zombie deck. Okay. I have a Scarab God deck. I love that deck. Mm -hmm. I don't play it all that often because yeah. it does what it does. Yeah. It's, it's the same type of deck every time, you know, and it's, you know, zombies, they, they come back from the graveyard. They, you know, go wide. Mm -hmm. They kind of just, you might sacrifice what, them. They're going to be fodder, yeah. you know, like there's not, I haven't seen really much zombie tribal decks that branch out at the table where people have gone and done something completely unexpected sure you know so i think new goal everyone yeah. build something unexpected this is an encouragement to everybody exactly. to prove Surprise me wrong these overrated budget tribes. Rick moranis yes yeah budget Rick moranis um and the next one again i have multiple goblin decks no yep. they're not all goblin tribal but uh i do have a couple goblin tribal decks and I don't play them very often. They just go wide goblins. Right. Cranko Mob Boss does Cranko Mob Boss things. I actually, when I built Cranko Tin Street Kingpin, mm -hmm. I wanted to make, I didn't want to make the same deck, uh, you know, that I already had. Yeah. So what I did was I was like, we're going to go tall with Cranko. And, 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 and then basically what I did is I put in a bunch of Hellions. Oh, yeah. So he goes wide, but then these Hellions come in and they devour <laughs> all of these goblins and become these massive hellions so, funny. so it was like a way of building that deck differently yeah, yeah. it didn't have to necessarily it isn't really goblin tribal sure. i mean it is it usually yeah. plays out the way krenko plays out yeah makes a bunch of goblins but but you've got a nice little twist try to it, try to change it to yeah. something different so i think when i first made uh, krenko for the channel um i think there's a couple goblins in there but i just put a bunch of threaten effects in there so i could just threaten yeah. krenko and then do it again and then do it again so yeah. it's like technically goblin tribal because krenko's making all the goblins but again it's like goblin tribal within one creature right. i guess there's a, there's probably other goblins in there too but not as many yeah it's like and again this is just going from my own experiences both with what i've built mm -hmm. and played and also with what i see out in the wild that whenever somebody brings a goblin deck to the table mm -hmm. we know what it's going to do you're going to get a similar experience it's going to yeah it's going to be all the goblins everywhere all the time yep which is fun but yeah. it's like it's a one trick kind of pony it sure. doesn't really do anything different yeah games generally go the same yep um Elves, very similar to goblins. Mm -hmm. I think in recent years, there's been more support for elves that do different things than, you know, elf ball. Yeah. But speaking to building tribal elves, mm -hmm. typically, yeah. it's elf ball. Typically. typically. Yeah, just get as many elves as you can. I mean, and Lathril is an example of that. Like, again, tap. Well, I mean, what other, like, you know, how many other, like, cards out there are like, hey, Get 10 of these things out. Oh, that's pretty easy to do with elves. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get 10 untapped elves you have and yeah. tap them all. Uh, <laughs> we'll never be able to do that. Oh, it's impossible. It's <laughs> you impossible. You wouldn't even need to be worrying about tokens. You could do that with, like, all the one-drop yeah, elves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Land of elves, yeah. Elves, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so I think, like, elves is, again, you can build out. Elves is probably one of the tribes that you can build the most creative out of these overrated mm -hmm. tribes. Um but for the most part, when I see an elf tribal deck, yep, it's just, you're expecting it to see Land of War Elves turn one. It's just gonna go wide and yep. yeah, Land of War Elves get a bunch of mana, one. yeah, get a bunch of them out, right. pump them all, yeah, overrun effects, yeah. And similarly, um, the last overrated tribe I have on here is dragons. I think that Eddie's gonna have an issue with that, yeah, the, or dragon deck. Yeah, I mean, hashtag blame Eddie in the comments below. Blame Eddie. Yeah, well, I mean, he's playing an Eminence Commander. Although <laughs> I, I have an, I have a couple Eminence Commanders, so I can't. I don't think i've ever had an eminence commander i could be wrong on that that was when i came into commander was yeah. in that block so yeah, i yeah. had the the arabo um, i have arabo still mm -hmm. and the the first commander deck that um, i was gifted it by my cousin thanks roy um was the edgar markov oh there you go he asked me what tribe i liked i didn't know what he was doing and he was just sure. like what do you like and i was like out of the out of the tribes that sure. were in that and i was like vampires dragons are cool. vampires cats and wizards and wizards like those the four <laughs> yep yep so yeah yeah there is a wizards eminence tribal but i don't think that deck really plays that tribally i don't think that one does. i could be wrong it's, i don't know it's been a while since i've seen that one yeah that was like the least played out of those out of that set yes i think that's gonna be an edgar is crazy powerful <laughs> uh so is they dragon. All are. and also everyone loves dragons and then yeah um arabos cats and players love cats I think that, like with uh, elves, dragons has gotten. I mean, they're con they, they're a tribe that will continue to always get support. Oh yeah. I think there's a lot of ways you can build dragons that doesn't have to be dragon tribal. 
you know treasure tribal yep. that, that's a thing there's mm -hmm. a lot of like different colored dragons so yep. like you can really go in a lot of different directions with them clones with miriam that kind of stuff yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um i mean like niv mizzet's a dragon you can yeah no, you know true. like i forgot that Mizzet is right now <laughs> he does something totally different than yep. anything that you know dragons would do so mm -hmm. um i think that but again speaking towards dragon tribal they are big scary when yeah. it, you know they they kind of are slow to get going and then once they're there you're screwed so you know like <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just kind of oh no oh, you're gosh. always watching the ur dragon player but you're like well he's not a threat yet maybe he won't be a threat this game and then uh -huh. it's like oh no we lose <laughs> we're, all, we're all gone yeah <laughs> i should have paid attention to that player that just suddenly got out a 10 10 flying dragon right. and then cheated other things at a play and yeah. right away and took me out yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh darn <laughs> Even if he drops like a shivan dragon in early like, game, oh, you're gosh. like, oh, he's playing jank. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, nope. no, he's not. That's just that. Yeah, that's the red herring. That's just that. That is just trying to throw you off completely yep. and be yep. like, oh, yeah, no, no, it's just <laughs> budget tribal. Oh, by the way, here's ancient bronze dragon or whatever it is. Never let them know your next move. There you go. <laughs> Lie. Lie to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those were the kind of the overrated tribes as I saw them sure. personally. I don't know if you agree with that or if there's any other. I mean, that. I think that those are, again, if you just literally took the, the EDH rec list of like the most popular tribes, they're kind of like the overdone ones, I would say, where it's just like, yeah, like, does do dragons need any more support than they already have? No. They literally could just not get a card for the next 10 years, and they'd still probably be able to pack a punch against whatever Magic's doing in 10 years. Yeah. Well, and I think that, like... Most likely. <laughs> if you think about, like, goblins, right? Yep. Now, granted, there are goblin commanders that don't... Like, like Zada, that, sure. that, that don't do anything goblin really related. Now, granted, there's a way you can build that yeah, yeah. with a bunch of goblin tokens and yep. have it be really effective. Yep. But... For the most part, like that's one of those tribes where whenever we get a, a commander in that tribe, mm -hmm. they always tend to want to care about goblins. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's some level of that, that's right? That's kind of true. Yeah. So, like, and I think that that's true of of a, a, a lot of these tribes. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, um, well, slivers obviously. Like, anytime yeah. there's a sliver commander, slivers it's all, only ever going to care 100%. about slivers. Yeah, there's there's no sliver commander that is like nah, I couldn't care less about. Slivers. So there isn't like you're getting like this new creative space to play within the, the tribe, but sure. also have bring in some other level. Like, there's no point to do like a artifact sliver deck, you know, mm -hmm. like where it's you know got all slivers, but it cares about artifacts. Sure, like, that's not really a thing. Yeah. I mean, I would love to see that. Deck. Yeah, that's let's cool. see it. it. Seems cool. Challenge in the comments. Challenge. Point. Go for it. <laughs> but yeah, and I think like. Dragons and, and elves, they those tribes, like we said, they when we get new commanders and we get a lot of them be, just because they're a very supported tribe, mm -hmm. um, they tend to bridge colors and they also tend to you know bring in other things. They can branch out with different elements. Yeah, a plus more. one, plus one counters sure. and elves a lot, treasures and dragons, mm -hmm. different things. So yeah, yeah. But in general, we just see them a lot. That's true. Just kind of yeah, I, and that's kind of the thing. I was like, okay, I, if you see a dragon tribal deck at the table, you know what it's going to be. Yeah. And yeah, that can. I mean, again, that's it's good to know, but also yeah. it can just get kind of you know samey just to see the same kind of things again and again and again. Yeah. Versus you know wizards, knight stalkers need more you know tribal support. Yeah. So, I mean, like kind of in summation, like if you if you haven't ever played tribal and mm -hmm. you want to build tribal, yeah. Um, there's definitely ways to do it in budget. Mm -hmm. A lot of ways to do there it in budget. There definitely are, yeah. And I think that um, I would just encourage everyone to think about tribes that you don't always see. So yeah. that the games have a little bit more variance. Mm -hmm. And just look at, yeah, give give something else to try. And don't do not do the the, 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 um, the easy route and just plug all the changelings in there. <laughs> I mean, you can. You yeah. can. Yeah. You can. <laughs> No, 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 go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do Don't it. Don't listen to me. Just do all changelings. Just do all changelings. There you go. Yeah. Challenge yourselves, Challenge people. Yourself. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, I think that it's interesting because, yeah, there are, even on EDH track, right? You have like, like the themes tab or whatever. And it's like themes are broken down into like just like themes and then also just like tribal. Like it's a completely separate yeah. thing because there's so many different elements to it. Like tribal might be the most popular type if you take all the different tribal decks and put them together essentially say like okay like you have you add all the decks up like dragon elves all those up into just tribal in general it's probably gonna be more popular than i would assume like artifact which i think is the number one theme yeah so, like yeah, it's it just like is. it is probably the most pervasive is that the right word i don't know it's the most uh seen i guess kind of deck if you're going to sit at a table and you see a tribal deck you might you probably be surprised well i think that it's i think that it's one of those things where it's it's really it's really easy to build it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like, it doesn't take you, a ton of extra research. You're going to be like, okay, what are the goblins? Right. Cool. This cares about, you know, all of these humans um, that are, that are, I, 
let's let's say let's say elves. Sure. All these elves that care about elves. Yep. Well, let, let's just put them all in the same deck. Yeah. Typically, that would work. We're done. You know. Mm-hmm. And then you just unless sure you had you an elf that was like elf that didn't like elves. It was like destroy yeah. all the elves. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> a, uh, like um uh. Yeah, I don't know if you ever watched Disenchantment, but Elfo is the yes, 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 yes. It's not technically an elf. But, I didn't. But you I don't, don't find that. that out until like Tuesday. Sorry, spoiler. alert. Spoiler. Later. Goodness Sorry. gracious! Oh no! It's a cartoon. Disenchantment <laughs> has been ruined for everyone. Yeah, that's a great show, by the way. I, I saw it a couple years ago, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, I don't think they. I think it's been canceled since. But, oh, it's pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, cool. So, tribal, tribal. Go have some fun with it. Do something different. Try it out. Try it out. There you go. Or or build Mitch Tribal, which is not at all around the Tribal Commander. Not at all around a Tribal nope, Commander. Nope. Just you're literally like, oh, it's more fun. Nope. Weird more fun deck that no one sees coming. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Unless you've seen the episode and then you know it's coming. And then, yeah. It doesn't right. work for me then because you saw the episode, <laughs> which is my fault. Quit telling everybody about your exactly. deck Exactly. It's ideas. my fault. It's <laughs> almost like you're trying to do this like all the time. It's just so I can literally complain about it. It's just so I can have someone to complain about when I'm like, ah, why do you know about this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah. Thank you for joining me this episode. Yeah, it's always good me. chatting with you, Budget Rick Moranis, talking budget about Moranis. budget things, budget tribal, all the budget, budget tribal. Things. Yeah. Comment below with your thoughts on these. What is your favorite tribe? What's your least favorite tribe? What tribe do you think needs more support? Is it Night Stalkers? Is it Night Stalkers? It's definitely Night Stalkers. How about Berserkers? Or Night Stalkers? That's a Berserkers cool is, a tri- is a tribe. Yeah, dude. What? There's very few of them. What? I'm pretty sure it is. What about power I'm, I'm tribal? I'm probably wrong, and I'm getting blasted in the comments. Maybe. I, I'm sure you're right. I, I think Berserker it is. probably is. I feel like it's like a really I mean, like, old one that they brought back a little bit mm-hmm. in Kaldheim. Yeah, I mean, like, Coward is a tribe, so I would assume Berserker. Yeah, it is, because you can make a dwarf Berserker in... You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Berserker tribal we need. I don't know how supported it is. There you go. <laughs> but Coward it's a tribe. Coward tribal. Um, yeah. We got Cowards. I want to make a cowardly deck. Yeah. Well, there's that one, like, uh, in Bold War Intimidator. Is that right? I'm probably way off. The one that's just like, hey, you, you can't block because you're a coward. And yeah, they're like, right. oh, no. Yeah, what's, so scary. The, yeah, yeah. It's a protection from cowards or whatever. Something, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a crazy thing. Like <laughs> okay, regardless, Anyways. coward tribal, night soccer tribal, all the things. Comment below with your thoughts. Thank you again for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Alrighty. And as always, thanks again and have a good one. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG Player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all their support.